Uh, welcome uh, to the Kids Graphic Novel of the Month Club for the month of um, uh, March. This is March. Uh, and, and the book is, as I just said, is Hookie. Um, and we have our guest here. Hello. And this is Miriam. Oh, I, and I didn't do this. I didn't ask you beforehand. I should have. Miriam, is it Bonastre Tour? Did I get that right? Or even close? Nope, she's muted. Hold on. Hold uh, on. Uh, there you are. No, there you are. <laughs> you got it kind of right. Uh, yeah. It's Miriam Bonastre Tour. Bonastre Tour. Okay. Yes, yes. Very good. I, you know, it's always difficult with uh, with uh, other languages, you know, knowing how the pronunciation is sometimes. Um, good morning and and well, well, good evening to you because because you're in Spain and it's yes. it's nighttime where you are. Seven um, p.m. here. Excellent. excellent. Well, it's morning here in San Francisco, so uh, international kids uh, kids stuff. Yay. Um, so uh, so let's start with my first question. I always ask the same first question from everybody because I kind of love this first question. Um, why comics? Of all the things you could be doing in your life, uh, clearly you are a very talented illustrator. Um, you're, you're an interesting storyteller. What is it about comics specifically that attracted you and, and made you, you know, made that the thing you wanted to do? Hmm. Well, first of all, thank you for having me here. I'm very excited and a little bit nervous. Don't be nervous. Um, <laughs> so about your question, well, uh, I've been drawing comics since I was like a little kid. Um, illustration for me is so interesting. Writing um, by itself, it's interesting. I, I did write like novels when I was a teenager, but um, Comics is the, the, the best way, I, um, the media that I feel more connected since I was a child. I started reading comics that my mother and my, and my father had in our house. Um, so yeah, since I was very, very uh, little, I, I've been drawing comics. Like, I have a uh, lot of sketchbooks. Um, uh, from when I was like five year olds, uh, with lots of drawings, with uh, characters talking and, and a history, and yeah, so it's a media that always have been um, that I, I always connected to this kind of media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's I, don't, I don't know if that made sense. But... No, that makes, that makes perfect sense. Um, uh, what were the first comics you remember reading? Yeah, like uh, the first ones uh, weren't very appropriate for my age because uh, I I read comics that my my father had in home, like Conan the Barbarian. Okay, <laughs> that's interesting. Like... Wow, wow, interesting Conan. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No, that's that's like uh, so inappropriate for kids. But uh, I wrote those and some Spanish comics called uh, Esther y sus locuras, Esther y su mundo, uh, the world of Esther. And yeah. it was about, uh, it was the comics that my mom read when she was little, um, in the 70s, I think. Uh -huh. and, and it was about a, a teenage girl with her, uh, like, love stories and friendships and uh -huh. that kind of uh -huh, uh -huh. And then I started to watch anime <laughs> in t on TV, and I started to buy my own comics, and all of them were manga. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes, my first comic I brought from for myself was Sakura, Car Captor Sakura, uh -huh. uh, and yes, I started with shoho manga. Uh, yeah. I don't know if you're familiar. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Yes, I read a lot of, a lot of uh, like magical girls, manga. Uh, I think Huki has some influences from my early um, the the early mangas I, I read, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I can I see it very much. I see it very yeah. much. Um, yeah. What what um, what attracts you to to the style and the tropes? of manga uh, versus sort of European tradition or, you know, American comics like Conan. <laughs> yeah. So I think manga always had uh, something interesting that uh, it's like they have a lot of 
um, different magazines, and each one is uh, uh, have a different target, right? Uh, the um, American comics, um, when I was a, a child, tended to be uh, more focused for teenage boys, maybe. Sure, yeah. uh, manga had like um, comics for girls, for w women, for yeah. men, for yeah. adult people, and, and, and lots of their stories are meant for girls too. So I felt like really connected, like uh, the stories told about the things um, interested me the most. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but you, you mentioned that your that your mom had uh, had comics from the seventies that were hmm. the Spanish comics hmm. that were aimed at at women. Uh, hmm. or, or perhaps it was girls. I don't know if it was girls or women. No, um, it was girls. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, so uh, is there? I, I guess part of my question is: is there is there still material being published in Spain uh, mm. that that speaks to that audience? Not um, really. Like uh, comic in Spain, it's not a thing. Uh, it was back in the seventies, mm -hmm. but. Uh, 70s, 80s, but we don't have a like a big audience nowadays. Now it's changing because lots of teenagers um, are starting to read uh, manga thanks to anime or um, American comics uh, thanks to the Marvel movies um, sure. and that things. But um, when I was a child or a teenager, uh, comic Spanish comic is not a thing. So. Yeah. Um, I think I felt attracted to manga too because it was on TV, right? Um, yeah. Anime was like a big thing in the 90s and yeah. the, um, 2000. Uh, so lots of uh, boys and girls my age grow up uh, watching anime. Yeah. It's what yeah. we saw on TV. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, did you, did you um, uh, go to school for comics at all? Uh, <laughs> Yeah, and for comics specifically, or just art in general? No, for comics specifically. Uh, yeah. There are uh, only two schools, I think, in Spain, uh, centered in comics, and one of of those are um, was um, Joso, Escola Joso, in Barcelona. Uh, I live one hour away from Barcelona, and I didn't know that school at first. I was thinking about studying like general arts or maybe animation. Uh, but when I discovered Escola Joso, that is all about comic. Yeah. Um, and uh, there's a lot of uh, teachers there who are uh, professional comic artists who work from for America, for the French market, yeah. and for Spain too. So it's like so important here, that school. I felt fascinated <laughs> and I was like, oh, I, I have to go there. Uh -huh. um, it was a super awesome experience because um, we learned like um, uh, narrative, uh, uh, art, and uh, ink color, uh, yeah. the particularities about the American, uh, Japanese, and French narrative in comic that are different. Yeah, uh, it, was, it was so amazing. <laughs> really, I enjoyed it so much. Oh, that's great. Uh, and and so you said that you were you thought at first you were going to just study illustration. When when did you? I mean, did you know then that you wanted to make comics professionally, or did you? Were you still thinking, oh, maybe I'll be doing commercial advertising hmm. or something like that? Yes, like uh, back then I, I was drawing comics as a hobby, uh, but uh, at first I didn't consider comic as a career because here in Spain is like so so difficult to yeah. live um, as a comic artist mm, you have to work for for uh, other countries because here there's not um, sure. enough sure. market so sure. at first I didn't consider it seriously mm -hmm. because I thought uh, it's difficult right mm -hmm. but then uh, I just did it <laughs> I think I, I did I like comics so much, so I wanted to try it at least. Yeah. Like, uh, I didn't want to give up. Uh, I didn't. I, I wanted to try it, and, and well, I succeeded. Yeah, <laughs> so you succeeded. I'm, I'm no, a very comic much. Now. Yeah. Very much. Now. Yeah. So let me let me let me ask the question of 
of where did hooky come from? What yeah. was sort of the genesis of you doing it? And was the intention always for it to be a web comic? Hmm. Uh, well, do you know that there's stories that authors have for years in their minds, hoping to 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 draw one day like the, oh my god this is the story of, of my life I, I want the public to to read this well hook it was not <laughs> this kind of story at all <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, it was uh, like so natural for me uh, I was drawing the challenge in October do you know what it is well to to give it um, five cents um, it's like a challenge artists do online. Uh, it consists on, on drawing an, an ink illustration every day of October it's and posting it. October. We call it Inktober. Here yes, in Inktober. Inktober. Yes. 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 Uh -huh. yes. Yeah, so yeah. you have to to post it on your um, social media and tag yeah. this with Inktober. So in 2015, I drew a couple of twin twin brother twin witches. A uh, boy and a girl. They yeah. didn't have names at that time, but I liked it so much. I liked their the, um, simple design. Um, I fell in love with them. So I keep drawing them. And then uh, Webtoon announced their uh, contest, their, inter their, their first international contest. And I des decided to, to join. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I. I invented the story of Hookie, yeah. like the 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 big big moments of the story in one month. Uh huh. Uh, like the start, the the um, important scenes, the, the, cl the climax, the ending, and the important characters, the important like uh, c couples, the the important things. And I started the comic <laughs> for yeah. the contest. Yeah. Um, and I didn't win. <laughs> okay. But to join the contest, you had to publish the comic online on the sure. webtoon platform. So yeah. even though I didn't win, I I was loving the experience of drawing the little twins, Danny and Dorian, yeah. and and sharing it with the readers. I didn't have a lot of readers, but by that time, but it was enjoyable for me. So I continued, yeah. and in a couple of months, webtoon. Mm, uh, 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 say to me that they wanted to make Hoki uh, original uh, webtoon comic. Right. So, yeah. Right. <laughs> it was right. like that. So uh, if I if I understand things correctly, and I mm -hmm. I may not when you when you first start, and not you specifically, but anybody first start doing comics on webtoons, you're essentially doing them for free, right? Mm. It depends. I mean, a lot of people uh, mm, uh, uh, make their comics especially for the contest because mm -hmm. Webtoon um, organizes contests from time to time. Uh, some people, yes, publish them uh, for free. Um, in my case, when I did it, it was like the first steps of Webtoon International. Yeah. Um, so there wasn't like so many readers back then and um, yeah I, I don't know i i think that webtoon um um uh, how do you say that like uh contract people contract no um, yeah. yes people sometimes but uh they tend to look like the um, canvas section it's like the amateur or free section and yeah, they yeah. look for 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 um, comics that they interested sure. into. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know if I'm making sense, but no, yeah. no, no, no. That, that that makes that makes perfect sense. <laughs> okay, um, okay. Uh, I, I was it was it was more the for me. It's always the curiosity of mm. of doing work for free without a mm. contract. Is mm. it's that's kind of scary, right? Like if you're, yeah. you know, how are you? How do you support yourself doing that and and things like that? Yeah, by that time I was still studying in the yeah. Hoso. I see. Okay. Okay. I lived with my mother, so okay. I was. I was <laughs> makes it makes it easier when mom's paying the way. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I I was a stud. I was a student. I was twenty one, I think. Uh -huh. Uh 
Uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, so I did it in my free time. I, I, I didn't publish like every week either. It's like yeah. I did it as a hobby yeah. at first. And yeah. I, it was only two months. So yeah. it wasn't like so hard for me. Sure, um, sure, sure. But I have people I know that have been like publishing for free for months or, or for years. And yeah, it's, it, it's difficult when you want to be like publish it in originals. Yeah. Uh, that's why uh, all, when people ask me how, they, how can they like start working for Webtoon, I recommend to them uh, that they take advantage of the contest, yeah. right? Because publishing for free forever is like, uh, it, it's scary, right? Yeah. right? Yeah. So yeah, I always recommend to aspiring Webtoon artists yeah. that they uh, take part in the contest. Yeah. Yeah. And at, and at some point, once the strip gets popular enough, you start getting paid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's a thing, too. Uh, you can uh, uh, earn money even if you're not an original. Mm -hmm. uh, like, um, Webtoon pays you a specific amount. They, it's, it's on their page. I don't know how much yeah. right now. Yeah. Mm, depend on your likes, your, your followers. And um, also, um, the authors on Canvas can like link their pa Patreon, Patreon uh -huh. sure. on on their um, pages, so they can be like A another source of income. Yeah. Yes, from the readers. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. there's a possibility too. Yeah. But you have to be like so so popular. popular. Sure, exactly. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, that, that to me is always that's the thing that I find scary potentially hmm. about webtoons hmm. is that is that if 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 this is a triangle of all the people who are who are doing comics these people at the top make money and probably make pretty good money but all these people down here at the bottom of the hmm. triangle are working for free uh yeah it's, it's, a weird, it's a weird system i don't know yeah but the, but the thing is if you publish on canvas uh you don't have to publish like every week if you don't want to you have you can do it as a hobby and like oh i'm a aspiring artist or am, am i i am a student or and i want to share my comics is a sure. platform that allows that and have a lot of readers yeah. uh there's other platforms that you can uh, publish your comics too yeah. um, but i think that's the interesting part the the large community of readers yeah. that uh, Webtoon has, it's yeah. mm, so uh, attractive for, for authors. Sure, like, sure, there's a lot sure. of people there. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> right? Once, once, you break, once you break through, you know, that's, yeah. that's the, the trick mm -hmm. is the breaking through part. Uh, yeah, it's but then it's, it's great. Eventually, you were lucky enough that you get a book, a giant book of, of the comics. Yes. <laughs> Yes, right? and there will be uh, another one in September. Nice. Too. Yeah. And maybe a third one. I don't know. But yes, <laughs> those are like really thick books. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're. Uh, I'm assuming at this point you're doing this basically full time now. Uh yes, yes. Yeah. I, I draw comics full time. Yes. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Wow. And I love it. <laughs> It's great, isn't it? Like, you know, to be able to, to, to break through and make that living and do it, that's fantastic. Yes, um, yes. When you, when you went to school, uh, I assume that the school was much more focused on physical books? Yes, absolutely. Yeah? And so the, the, the technique and the things that they were teaching you were more about how a hmm. page works and hmm. continuity hmm. between a page. Was it... Was it difficult for you to start with that training to make the adjustment to sort of the endless scroll of, of, of a webtoon? I mean, not that much because um, I've been doing comics on my own for a long time. And I was also um, on pages like DeviantArt and yeah. websites like that. Mm -hmm. And this kind of uh, long strips I, I, I won't say that they were common on Deviantart, but I, I saw that kind of strips before. Sure. Um, so, yeah, it was kind of difficult to adjust the narrative. Uh, 
I even think that <laughs> um, I never did the perfect webtoon narrative in Hooky. Like, <laughs> I'm still learning. Mm -hmm. um, because uh, uh, I remember the first time I met my editor um, in person yeah. in um, 2019. Uh, I went to Boston and, and I met the crew and some readers. Mm -hmm. And I have. I had been working for Webtoon for two, no, for three years, but yeah. by that time, and my editor said to me like, um, yeah, you should like, uh, don't put so many um, text dialogues um, uh -huh. in your, in your, uh -huh. in your, in your streams because the Webtoon reader has a, has, has a less attention span yeah. than the book reader. Right. I was like, right. Oh, <laughs> I've been right. writing like like a lot of text <laughs> in yeah. my comic for three yeah. years. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, there's things that uh, I have to still learn, but another things were so interesting to to practice. Like for example, um, I I would like to show you something maybe. Sure, sure. <laughs> by I, all means. Yeah, by um, all means. Wait, like for example, in a in a. Um, a classic comic book, you can draw a, a splash page. Yeah. And that's when you want to, to, to show a um, strong emotion or yeah. a big a big scenario. So uh, a cool thing about Webtoon is that you have endless space to draw. You don't have a limited amount of pages to draw. Right. So if uh, as something that I enjoyed uh, a lot was drawing like uh, big panels, infinite panels that you yeah. keep scrolling, scrolling, yeah. and it's the same background, and you can see the characters like uh, where's Waldo? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Uh, I want to show you what I don't know. <laughs> yeah, just down at the bottom, there's a little share your screen button, and once mm. you, once you, it's like right at the center of the screen on the bottom. Yes, but I'm trying to. Yes, it's here. No, here. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so yeah. One, so one yeah, I was talking about. There we go. It's on screen. Yeah, I think it's this panel or it's this episode at least. Uh huh. No, it's this one. Wait, <laughs> I don't know if it's this one. No, it's the next one. Wait. Here. Yeah, I think it's this one. So it's a like a really, really long panel, and uh -huh. you can see like the time passing, yeah. the different characters doing different things. It's a, a lot a very chaotic scene, this in particular, but this is something that I enjoyed doing. Um right and the end of the panel it's like it starts with this scene right so yeah. this is something uh, that only you can only do with webtoon yeah and there's another there's other things interesting in the platform like uh um music for example or gifs or i don't know um it's a um uh interesting media it's a new media for comic yeah. artists and has a lot of interesting tools that can be used. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you're if you're creative enough to use them, I, I think that's yes. fantastic. Um, what about th the process of of converting that into mm. this? Yes. For example, this panel I just uh, show you. Yeah. Um, I mean the whole uh, the whole hooky comic um th that's something we didn't say in this interview but uh webtoon format is like a well it's like a long strip that you keep scrolling and scrolling yeah. it's like a panel under the other so yeah. when i had to to convert all this in the in a book format i had to um re mm, uh, you have to you have to rebuild it you have to re rebuild, rebuild it. it yes yes yeah. yes mm -hmm. and at first uh, the publisher um, suggested to do it uh, themselves, but it wasn't working because 
uh, at the end of the day, the narrative for an an art an author uh, uh, an artist is so important. Like for me, a comic book has the the art, the story, and the narrative. Mm -hmm. So it it was uh, so important for me to do it myself. So I had to do it all by myself. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah. it was a very interesting exercise because, as I said, I tend to like write so much text <laughs> and i had to simplify a little bit mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. to to make the the comic fit in a book sure so it was a very interesting exercise and i enjoyed it a lot uh i'm still enjoying it um and just before i forget it i want to show you how i uh did this particular panel i just showed you yeah uh, because I mean, the book. I I. Um, what? Yeah. What? What page number is it on? No. Uh, yes. Uh, sure. It's. Just because we can follow at home, then. Yes. <laughs> it's page. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> yeah. Um. It's here. Wait. Hold on. Uh, what is that? That is three forty-four. Yeah. Here, oh, towards the. I end. did a, a splash yep. page. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh wow, that's very different. That's that's very 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 different. Yeah, but it, it, in this particular panel, it was the only way that this could work here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the rest of the comic, I just uh, like. Hmm. Wait. I, I, I'm gonna um, share. Screen again. Yeah. Please do. Screen again. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um. So yeah, I, I did this. I did uh -huh. thumbnails for all yeah. the pages. See? Yeah. And then I just uh, took the original panels and converted it to the um, classic comic book uh, page format yeah. using this. As a, well, <laughs> this was well, that, that's the actually, that's, that's really interesting that these thumbnails these thumbnails are your book thumbnails and not the original <laughs> thumbnails. This is a second set of thumbnails. Yes, this is this. Those are the thumbnails for the book. Yes. Wow, that's, that's uh, really. It was like, and, and so, what did you do? Did you did you like kind of have your phone in front of you and just scroll and then <laughs> and then try to uh, kind of. <laughs> yes, I had the well, not the phone, but the website. Yeah. <laughs> And I kept uh, like looking at my original strips, comic strips, and drawing them here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that that's, was that's it. really interesting. That's really yeah. interesting. <laughs> it, it, it was a lot of work, and I had to redraw the first 60 pages of uh -huh. uh, book one because I lost the original files. Oh, wow. Yes, I spent wow. like the first months of uh, the pandemic uh, at home redrawing my first episodes of Hoopy. <laughs> wow. wow. Yes. Oh. Yeah, this, well. this must have been hard, too, because, you know, at the end, you're talking about 384 pages here. Uh, mm -hmm. That's a that's a lot of that's a lot of pages to relay out. Uh, yes. Yes. That, that sounds like just so much work to me. I, uh, yes, it's a lot of work, but as like I said before, I love comics yeah, and yeah, I kind of yeah. enjoy it that too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I I think I I I learned by that the, by this exercise. Yeah. I think I'm a better yeah. comic artist now. Uh, I don't know. I, I really think it was something interesting. Hmm. Yeah. So um can you maybe talk a little about the challenges when you're when you're going from this to the page, because one of one of the things about comics, that that in a printed a printed comic at least is, is that you need to have a beat at the end of every page, right? Like that last panel has to be something to make you go to the next page. If you, mm -hmm. Do you understand what I mean? Yes. 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 Yeah. Yes, were, right. Did, did I mean, you did you did you were you encountering things in in the the endless scroll that you're like I don't know quite how to how to turn this into like making it work for the for the turn. I mean, it was difficult, and I think I'm still learning mm -hmm. uh, because in webtoon 
mm, you have to do that in at the end of every episode like yeah. every op episode ends with a cliffhanger sometimes yeah. uh a, a heavier cliffhanger sometimes not that much but it's important yeah. so i think that idea uh you can sometimes feel that the, this was originally a webtoon right. because some cliffhangers are kind of fake <laughs> like, right, sure, sure, sure. right? Sure, so sure. uh it's difficult i think that if i did hooky originally for a comic book it will be kind of different yeah um but for your specific question about ending of each page I did what I what I could. <laughs> like yeah. sometimes, uh, it, it I could do something to make it work. Sometimes it's so difficult because the 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 material is already done. So yeah. you have to work with what you have. Um, but that's why I say it's an interesting exercise because it's it's yeah. challenging sure. for no, so course, many reasons. And it and it looked like it looked like from your from your thumbnails that you were paying attention to the left and the right page. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yes, right? like, yes. Because particularly when you get to the right hand page, the right hand page really is where that big turn has got to be. You know, <laughs> you can't you can't end a scene in the middle at the bottom of the right hand page. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Look, I think I did what I could. Uh -huh. I think that in the first book, at least, sometimes it works, sometimes uh -huh. it doesn't. But uh -huh. I, I always tried to to make it work. Sure. Well, here's the thing. I'll, here's the thing I'll say to you, Miriam. I I never read the digital comic. Mm -hmm. Um, I in fact I can't read digital comics. My brain <laughs> just starts futzing out after oh. about two or three pages. I'm just like I don't even care anymore. Let's go check email. <laughs> Uh, I, I just because I'm old, you know. Um, uh, I, I only completely. I only read the book as mm. a book, and I oh. liked the book enough to make it our book of the month. So that oh. I think tells you that you did <laughs> a very you. good job in Thank breaking you. it down and 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 making it work. So Thank you so much. Absolutely. I mean, that that really means a lot to me. Yeah. Um, me as an as an artist, I can see that this is not perfect. It's my first comic, and as I said, it kind of feels like a um, web comic sometimes. Yeah. But I'm uh, I'm happy with the result anyway. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm so happy that you enjoyed it too. Yeah. thank you. <laughs> do you do you, uh, just just to stick on this thread just for one more sec? Do you in in the process of putting together the book? Did you start to think, oh, maybe I should do a comic that is a book first, mm. rather than doing doing a web comic first? Mm, like, mm, if if the experience of making the book of Hooky made me want to make only comic books, yeah, um, not really, okay. Okay. <laughs> because yeah, not really because my experience in webtoon was so. Um, was so beautiful to say. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, the most important thing and the most different thing in the web, um, the web comics and the com the or the, the classic comics is yeah. the connection with the audience. Sure. And I enjoyed that like a lot. Um, every week I had thousands of people commenting on my episode, like. Yeah. Uh, vibing with it yeah enjoying it and and saying it to me like yeah. thanking me or or fangirling or and that's so heartwarming for me yeah. uh it kept me motivated um the whole the whole community um was something so so beautiful yeah, yeah. and uh, yeah. i uh i kind of want to have this experience again sure Sure. Hmm. I understand. No, that makes that makes perfect sense. Um, hmm. uh, speaking of community, I think we've got a couple of questions. In fact, <laughs> Zoe's, Zoe's going, yes, we have a lot of questions. So let's, <laughs> oh, okay. let's take one or two and see how it goes. Uh, put it up. From Onyx, what is your favorite part of the illustration process? Hmm. Hmm. The thumbnails, <laughs> I think. Thumbnails. 
I mean the, the sketch, the, the, yeah, yeah. the sketch process. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because there's when I am more free, like I I draw um, without um, with my my heart. <laughs> I mean, uh -huh. I, I I I focus on the, the the emotion of the characters, their actions and their expressions, and and I enjoy that so much. Um, the line art. It's okay too. It's something that mm -hmm. I have to do in order to ha to have a, a cute drawing and, right. and not a, an an, uh, an ugly sketch. Yeah. And I don't like coloring that much. I mean, it's not that I I don't like it. It's more like uh, it's difficult for me. Sure. <laughs> I think I'm not very good with color, sure. uh, even though I, I color it the the whole hooky by myself. Uh -huh. uh, but I think it's kind of hard for me it's not um, my speciality <laughs> so yeah, yeah i i do enjoy like the the first sketch the, the feel rough sketch yeah mm. yeah yeah you're uh, uh you're working all digitally i'm assuming um, right now yes uh most of the time i mean uh with hooky i started uh drawing and inking the panels uh, traditionally and yeah. then scanning the drawings and coloring with Photoshop. But I had to make an episode each week. So doing it digitally was like super uh, faster. Sure, sure. <laughs> uh, uh, it saved me lots of time. So it was a natural process. Yeah. Uh, and right now, mm, I usually do it everything digitally, but I think uh, I draw better when I do it traditionally, when yeah. I use a pencil. So yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do from now on. Mm. Yeah. So you, you, um, uh, you went through the steps too, where it's, it's sort of, uh, thumbnails, pencils, inks, right? There's, there's different layers when you're doing mm. a physical page. Uh, What's your question again? Uh, uh, well, yes, yes, you were you were doing the art sort of two or three different times when you're doing it traditionally. Well, my process is like the first thumbnail, like mm -hmm. so rough, yeah. and then I did the first sketch. Mm -hmm. uh, the the next step is inking, but sometimes <laughs> I kept the sketch as it was. Maybe cleaning it a little bit <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. because it it felt more fresh. Sure. Like my drawings are not like super perfect. Um, I, I like it this way. Yeah. Mm, more fresh, more yeah. organic. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. don't know if it's yeah. the right word. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, sometimes I I just kept the the, the first sketch and cleaned it a bit, and sometimes I I ink it. And then the the flat colors, uh, one shadow, one right. light, and effects, uh, textures. Yes, that's it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And what about what about the lettering? Are you um, are you doing the translation into English? Is hmm. are, are are you writing it in Spanish? I assume you're writing it in Spanish. Yes, yes. My English is not very good. <laughs> As your you can English see. is fine. You keep saying your English is not very good, and your English <laughs> is just fine. Well, maybe maybe it's fine enough to keep a conversation, uh -huh. but it's not good enough to to make a I a whole yeah. comic without yeah. any any mistake. Yeah. I tried it at first, and mm -hmm. I failed. And I think you can still read the first episode with some weird. In, in the in the webtoon version, eh? the book version is corrected, but yeah. the webtoon version maybe ha I still have uh, some mistake. Uh, so uh, mm, I decided to draw the, um, the the text in Spanish, and and I had a translator, uh, a girl who helped me with the English. Mm. Yeah, uh, uh, and this is an ongoing process, obviously. That that it's is it. Is it the same person who's doing the translation for you every week for years for this? Mm -hmm. uh, mm, they, they, there were like three different persons, mm -hmm. and then the book version uh, was made by the publisher. So the, the original <laughs> um, words I put in paper are yeah. like 
lost in translation. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> it's, it's so interesting. I, 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 yeah. I love this. I love this. And it's, right, it's, let's, even, let's... Uh, it's even weirder because I have the Spanish version of Hooky. Yeah. We published a uh, hooky in Spain. This book is okay. the Spanish version. Okay. And they took the the English book version and made a translation to Spain again. So it's it's interesting. <laughs> oh wow! So it's, so it's translated in and then translated back in again. my original um, uh, wow. mother tongue, and uh -huh. it's not my words. So uh -huh. it's so weird. But wow, wow, that's that's actually really interesting. I, uh, <laughs> Wow. But they asked me about some particular things, but the publisher, the Spanish publisher, did the translation. So Wow. So when you yeah. when you read that Spanish edition, are you like, that's not what I meant? Or, <laughs> or no, not really. Close? Yeah, no, okay. Because right. I, I I I check it all, yeah. all of it. And yeah. I I said like change this or change that. So yeah. I like this version. But it's uh, weird that it. full, full circle. That yeah, it's all full did. circle. I love it. I love it. Uh, another another audience question. Let's pop one up. Hmm. Uh, from Clarissa Corral. When you create your characters, how do you develop their personalities? Dorian, Danny, Nika, and Nico and Monica all have so many layers to them. So how did you invent their identity? Hmm. Hmm. Well, I just like to think of my characters as like real people <laughs> like mm, i don't think of them as tools for the plot or i mean all of them start as a cliche like the princess is kind of posh the dorian is like a bookworm danny is mm, extrovert and friendly nico is like a um how do you say Gambero in English? Well, it's okay. But uh, I like to uh, live my story as my characters are real people. So um, I try to, to understand them. Uh, sometimes when I was uh, writing the story, I didn't really know uh, what some particular character was going to do. Uh, and then as I progressed in the story, like the character told me. <laughs> right. um, I don't know if that makes sense, but... Absolutely does. Hmm. I think that sometimes my own experiences, uh, also um, you can see them reflected in some characters. Sure. Uh, I, I do seem, I do see some of my struggles when I was younger, maybe reflected in some characters. But I don't like to think of them as my um, my reflexes. I, I like to think of them as own persons. Sure. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Like my, have, you, my um, have you ever had a situation uh, where you you wanted a character to go in a certain direction for the story, and then they just wouldn't? They're, as you're writing it or drawing it, they're just like, "No, I don't want to do that." <laughs> Like, no, please don't do that. No, uh, not to that extent. Okay. Mm, no, no, I don't think so. But I do think that I've struggled the most with the two main characters. Yeah. Because Danny and Dorian, um, like the, 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 the process of Monica, uh, Nico, um, or even Damien or... Um, or um, side characters are like um, uh, to one direction, right? Yeah. Uh, in, in Danny and Dorian instead are the main characters and they had uh, a lot of ups and downs and I feel like this now and I feel like that and I struggled sometimes like, okay, Dorian in this point of his life, what would, what, what, what would he do? Uh, I'm not saying this correctly but do you understand me like I, do. Uh, I struggled with the two main characters the most but but I like them the most too because they feel more real to me I don't know sure, sure. <laughs> hmm. do you um uh when you when you start uh, on any new episode are you are you doing a full script first are you 
sort of like doing it like a screenplay or are you uh because certainly some people just literally just write dialogue other mm -hmm. people do the thumbnail first and then you know and then work it out like are, uh, so, so where, where do you where do you actually start the process well it depends um sometimes i have like um, a specific dialogue um, so clear in my mind sometimes i have a specific Mm, panels clear in my mind so it depends um sometimes i i try to start uh writing the script and then i i get stuck and i have to draw the the thumbnails first um it depends it's like so organic to me um what i can say for, for sure is that uh when i drew hooky uh, i tended to have like like a lot of sketchbooks uh, physical sketchbooks where I mm, mm, sketched ideas uh, and it doesn't matter if, if it were ideas for this specific arc or for the ending or for it doesn't matter so when I wanted to start uh, an, a, a new arc I had to look for all my sketchbooks and search that that sketches I did a while ago and then organize myself like okay this arc have this scene this scene this scene and yeah. then i started like to script episodes um week by week hmm. nice nice is it is it getting um easier over the years is it getting harder mm, i'm getting more organized over the years <laughs> uh, more professional i like to think Mm -hmm. um, because when I started Hooky, it was like so organic, so emotional. So I want to draw what I like <laughs> and nothing yeah. else. Like I had specific scenes planned. Uh, I have the, I had the ending. I had lots of things, but it was not everything planned. Right. And nowadays, I like to um, plan everything in advance to to know what I'm, I'm drawing, um, the clues that I'm leaving in this episode to, to, to show something later. Uh, I prefer to, to be more organized nowadays, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to make more interesting and um, uh, uh, I, I don't know how to, to say in English, like um, well done stories. Uh -huh. Do you understand? Like, yeah, yeah, I do. I do. To make it all make sense. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, no, it does. It does. Uh, are you are you thinking about it in terms of uh, sort of this amount of 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 thing, or are you thinking about it in terms of like this episode and next episode? Mm, when I create an uh, um, when I create a new story, that you mean, or when, when I created Cookie? Yeah. No, when, I mean, when you're when you're doing when, when yes, when you're doing a new story, what are you? Hmm. How are you? Are you? Yeah. Because you said that you're being more organized. Are you organizing out the entire? Because this is a lot of work. This is yeah. 380 pages. That's a lot to keep in your head at one time. Hmm. Yeah. So right now I'm doing a new story, bro, okay. but I I can talk a lot of this. But I'm doing a new story, and where I did in this time was to um like uh, how wait <laughs> uh -huh. i'm like uh, I'm, I'm like using the translator uh, okay okay a summary <laughs> summary was the word i i, I didn't I don't know. Uh, uh, I did a summary of the whole story, like a uh -huh. very brief summary. Yeah. And then I'm making uh, every season. Like I will uh, organize the first season because I don't organize as books when I publish online. Yeah. I organize it l like seasons. So yeah. I'm organizing like uh, the whole first season in every episode where it will happen. Uh, briefly summarize but i yeah. i want to to know what happens in each episode yeah and um, and that's it and then i start um, sketching and yeah. writing the scripts for each episode but i have the whole season prepared yeah how, how how many episodes are in a season on average it depends uh, well, obviously example, it depends i meant on average though hmm. for example hooky 
Uh, we could consider that every book is a season, like, well, I don't know. Maybe 40, 70 episodes. Wow, wow. Maybe, I don't know. Yes, yeah. I, I think 40 is the minimum for a season, for me yeah. at least. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. That's a, that's just, it's a lot of work to structure out. Yeah. Here's, here's, here's my original paragraph. Now I'm going to turn it into 40 to 70 episodes. You know, like that's a, that's a <laughs> lot of, that's a lot of work and a lot of writing. Yeah. But it's better to do it because if you keep uh, drawing week by week without having everything planned, you can, you can make mistakes. Yeah, <laughs> you can yeah. stress out. You can um, end without ideas. So I prefer to prepare it, everything beforehand. Sure, sure, <laughs> sure. So, was there uh, was was there any particular thing that taught you that uh, that lesson? Well, yes, actually. Um, uh, lately, my well, lately a few months ago, my boyfriend. Uh, read the whole hooky, yeah. the, the whole webtoon, yeah. And he likes to read a lot, and he likes a lot of. Uh, he knows a lot of narrative and and that kind of things. And he said to me that the last uh, battle of hooky, the last last battle, was so in, in, intense and well written and interesting and emotional, but that the um, the villain, villains, the, the bad guys of that yeah, battle, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. were shown only an arc ago, right? right? And he said it uh, will have had uh, a lot of payoff if you had shown this uh, bad guys a lot um, time before, like sure. if they have been from the start or if you would establish them a little more. Yeah. Yes, and I thought yeah. you're absolutely right, but uh -huh. uh, I didn't plan hooky that much. So sure. the, the bad guys of the last battle are, are so interesting by themselves. They have an agenda. I they they have names and character and personality, but mm, they they were not established um, soon soon enough to yeah. to have uh, enough payoff. Like yeah, yeah. the battle have payoff for other things for well. It's emotional, but the bad guys are not important enough. Yeah. And I thought, yeah, you're right. I have to prepare everything in advance. Mm. Yeah, interesting. I love it. I, I love. <laughs> I love hearing about that kind of technique thing, man. Um, uh, we got another question. Yeah, put it up. Put it up from uh, S. P. Milky. I guess I don't know. Were there <laughs> were there any artists or anything that inspired your current art style? slash inspired you to change your art style? Hmm. Mm, I mean, I never like uh, try to copy a specific artist to, to, to make the same. I think um, my influence came organically to me, naturally to me, like the things I like. Well, no, excuse me, no. When I was 12 years old, I copied other things. But it, it, it's normal for, for artists at, at first to copy the things they like. But I nev from then, I never had the conscious um, idea of copying any, anyone. So um, if I could um, like mention some influences uh, for me, I would say like Ghibli is one of them. For example, uh, it's not like I don't have a very givish style in their characters, but I like to think that the relation between backgrounds and characters, like very detailed and charming backgrounds and simple and mm, yes, simple characters, it's yeah. so givish, maybe givish. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> um, and I don't know other authors. Um, I mean, I, I can mention like my influences in story-wise like harry potter avatar the last time vendor sure. uh doremi the anime huh? the magical doremi um things like that uh, but um as my art style i, I don't know i really don't know <laughs> you you uh, you've talked a lot about about anime mm -hmm. um do you do you read a lot of manga 
Mm, I mean, uh, yes. <laughs> uh, nowadays, not that much, but mm -hmm. the, I have read a lot of manga through my life. Yeah. Actually, I don't really like anime that much. I watched anime as a little, when I was a child. Sure. But I don't like anime. No, yeah. I only like manga. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know yeah. why. Okay. I don't co yeah. connect with the anime mm, tempos. Like, uh, I don't know why. Like, the same jo jokes I like in the manga version, it, it made me cringe in the anime version. I, I don't know why. <laughs> but yes, I, I have read a lot of manga, a lot of shoujo, especially. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Um, shonen, uh, it's not a, a, a gener genre. The, 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 Gender? Uh, well, I, I, I enjoy, I, but one of my favorite mangas of all time is Full Metal Alchemist, that is a shonen. Yeah, It's an exception. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, uh, I read most of it was show hope, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you, um, uh, do you get to the comic store very often? I, I, I mean, there's... There, there are, there's definitely comic shops in Barcelona, yes? See, yes. A lot. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I, yeah. Um, yes, yes. Uh, I went yesterday to a comic store. <laughs> yes, yes. I, I like to, well, but I want to say too that uh, I've been a lot of time without going to a comic store due to, to the COVID and pandemics. And I, I went, uh, a few months ago for the first time and i was amazed uh, about how many comics uh, there's uh, publishing in spain right now that yeah. i was so happy to see that that teenagers are starting to starting to read comics and manga uh, yeah. and i was i felt a bit a bit overwhelmed because i didn't know most of the <laughs> of the comics that were there but yes i, I like yeah. the sensation yeah. Do you have a do you have a uh, do you have a comic shop like near you in your town, or do you have to go in into Barcelona mm. itself to, to get to? The comic well, shop? I have a, a book bookstore here in my town. It's not a comic store; it's a right. bookstore, and it have right. a little section of comics. A little section, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. yeah. So to go to a comic book store, I have to go to Barcelona. But there's yeah. a big, big one called Norma yeah. Comics, and it's. So Super big! It's yeah. it's amazingly big, and I did my hooky Spanish presentation there, and it was amazing. Oh, nice, nice. <laughs> That's very nice. Mm. That, that 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 must have been satisfying too. To, to yeah, yeah, it was you know. so cool. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Uh, are we out of questions though, or is that you got? We did the best ones. Okay, very good. Um. Cool. Well, uh, what else can I ask you? Um, um, it, it, so you're working on a, a you, you're finished with Hooky and you're working on a new project. What's what's that new project? I don't know if I can say it. I, I think I, I can explain it, like so much about it, but it it will be about it will be a, a fantasy story again. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Uh, a long one, maybe not um, like hooky, not not that long, and um, aimed to to a little bit older audience, not very older, but mm -hmm. maybe 14, 16 year old, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I'm so excited about it. Mm -hmm. But I can mm -hmm. say like so much about it. Sure, no, I understand. When uh, when do you expect that to start up? Mm, I'm working on it right now, but I can say when can I announce something. I don't know. I still don't know. Yeah. It, well, how about how about this? It, this year, next year. I hope it's this year. Okay. <laughs> I hope. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Very good. Very good. Um, uh, and you said that there's there's going to be two more books of Hooky. Is that is that correct? Well, there's the second one. It, it's already announced. Uh, it will um, it will uh, go on sale on September of this year. The second book of Hooky, yeah. and the story doesn't end there. So yeah, maybe a third one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Very good, very good. And is yeah. is the second the second volume is thick as this? Yes. Wow. I think the second one is 
thicker than this. Oh wow. wow. A little bit, but wow. yes, it's it's I mean I I I I worked on hooky for more than four years. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah. One of the things that really kind of struck me about the book is, you know, again, we already mentioned it's 384 pages. It's only $13. That's, that is, you know, that's an incredible value for this because I don't know, like this is one of the, the, uh, the adult books that we're picking. This one's got, uh, I want to say like 160 pages and it's $20. So <laughs> when you, you know, I can kind of, put them like that and you can see the difference between the two books this one's 20 this one's 13. yeah yeah i mean that's a great uh and at you, you did right now boy hook, yeah. hooky it's <laughs> it's cheap it's good yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that is good that is good <laughs> uh it, it so i do you do you think that was this was this a decision purely by the publisher to price it like this, or were they able to do so because because of the online being successful enough? Mm. Does that does that make sense as a question? Yeah, but if I'm honest, I don't have any idea. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's all good. I I, I figure know. I may as well ask. I'm always I'm always <laughs> curious about that stuff. I'm always curious about that stuff. Um. Well, good. Uh, is is there is there? I mean, you 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 like you like the the twins, obviously. Uh, but is there a is how who's your favorite side character? How about that? Damien, okay. Damien, Damien. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the 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 older brother. It's my uh -huh. favorite character. Okay. Because okay. because he's like so interesting. He's an emo. He's. <laughs> I like him. I I really like him. Hmm. I I like his backstory. Uh -huh. So a lot of drama. I like drama. Uh -huh. um, uh -huh. <laughs> I like his his looks. I like he, that he's kind of um, um, mean. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I like that. I like that. <laughs> um, cool. Well, I, I I don't know. I don't know what else I have to ask here. I I, I really I really admire your art style a lot. Uh, I, I think, and I think that in terms of uh, you know the way that you you managed to take something that was that was a vertical mm -hmm. scroller and turn it into such a fine piece of of comicness, and it's and it's so dense, and it's so thick. <laughs> <laughs> It's just this is great. This is I really love Thank you. That, that that's what I'm trying to say there. Thank you. Uh, yeah, no, my my absolute pleasure. Um, well, we've we've asked you about the what's coming next question. You can't really answer. So let's go with the final question then. And and the final question is, is we have a lot of of people who watch uh, these videos. Uh, you know, this is something like our 260th episode or something like that. Um, uh, but we have a lot of people who, who watch these who want to make comics of their own. Um, and a lot of times people are like, I don't know where to start or I don't know what to do. Um, so what would be the piece of advice that you would give someone? Uh, it, and it, and it, can be, it can be physical craft-based. It can be sort of an emotional thing. It can be an intellectual thing. What, but what would be the piece of advice you would, you would give to, you know, to someone young who wants to make comics? I have two advices. I mean, they're very simple, very basic. But the first one is work, work a lot. Yeah. <laughs> work, work a lot because working on comics, it's a lot of work and you have to enjoy it because yeah. it's a lot of work. So always draw something that you enjoy, something that you will love to read as a reader, something that you, you you feel in your heart like don't try to make everyone happy with the story like to to sell something that you know that it will sell because maybe it will sell good but it will it will burn out you you have to i think you have to enjoy it and you have to work a lot but try to to not work on weekends <laughs> i mean <laughs> yes, working out is important, but sometimes we burn out. 
Yeah. Uh, I met a lot of uh, young artists uh, my age or younger than me here in Spain. And every, every time they tell me that they work the seven days of the week. And I'm like, mm, stop, you're going to die young. Stop that. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, work a lot. Enjoy what you do. Uh, draw something that you love and you feel. Uh, but don't kill yourself. <laughs> like, yeah. uh, you have to live too and br breathe. So... Um, try to keep a balanced balance. Yeah. Yes. I mean, I will, I always identified as a workaholic, but I, I've never, um, I, I never wanted to, to kill myself, my, myself working. Like I, weekends are sacred for me. Mm. Right. So yes, balance and heart and work. <laughs> Well, well, thank you for being here on a Sunday night for you. Uh, thank you. Since, since we're on your your, your sacred weekend. Oh, <laughs> no, uh, no, well, this is not work. This is fun. I mean it. No. Yeah. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. I mean it. it this is fun yeah. for me. Yeah. Mm. yeah. And well, wait, Some I, I just say that weekends are sacred, but drawing is also a hobby to me. So sometimes I want to draw on weekends, sure. but I, I don't draw like, oh no, I have to to, to finish this. I, I draw like, hmm, I want to draw something. That's yeah. okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's fantastic. I, I love it. I, I love it and I, I, I have enjoyed this time with you so much. Me too, uh, me too. Uh, yeah, I was no, so you're, nervous you're... at first, but yeah, no, I told you, there's nothing, to be, there's nothing to be worried about. It's a, you know, we're no, talking about comics. Fine. Who doesn't <laughs> love talking about comics? That, that's what I say, at least. Um, yeah, the, the book is hooky. Um, uh, put me on a one, will you, uh, Zoe? Um, uh, and so, yeah, I want to thank everybody for uh, for watching this, this episode. Um, you can, of course, buy a copy from us if you would like. Uh, that's It helps it helps keep these things going. Um, and, and this is... Um, this is part of, uh, you know, it's a club. Uh, every month we, we pick a new book and uh, and we get a lot of good books like this. Um, so so remember that. In fact, let me tell you about next month's book. Um, we are doing Squire uh, by, I'm going to I'm gonna mangle their names too probably. It's, it's Sarah Alphagi, I think is how you pronounce it, and Nadia Shamas. Uh, and this is next month's book, um, Squire. And this is a really smart book, uh, really thoughtful um uh, the next interview we are doing is is as for the adult clubs rather than the kids clubs I'm, I'm talking to gilbert shelton who drew the fabulous furry freak brothers what paul oh Maridis. oh god why did i say gilbert shelton lord knows i'm i'm goofy sometimes um yes we're talking to paul Maridis about the freak brothers uh and so that's on uh on 420 uh, of all places and then uh and then we're talking to james tinian for the there's the thing james tinian for the adult club next month um which is going to be great so that's the next couple of shows coming up um i would like to thank uh, i would like to thank zoe for for putting up with my nonsense and running the show and doing a great job uh and i would like to thank all of my staff zoe cat katie uh, for for allowing me to be able to do shows like this because they keep the stores running. I, I love it. Um, I want to thank Jordan, my producer. Uh, I want to thank all of you for watching. Um, and I very much want to thank Miriam right there for, uh, for, for, for making a book like this because if you don't make books like this, I have nothing to sell. So <laughs> thank you so much for, for being you. a great artist and making great fun books. Oh, thank you so much. Okay. I mean it. <laughs> it's it's my you. absolute pleasure. Thank you so much, and we will talk to everybody next month. Thanks very much for watching this episode of the Classic Graphic Novel of the Month Club. Uh, if you enjoyed this interview, please make sure you hit subscribe and, and hit that bell up in the top corner. You know, every month uh, we look at the history of comics uh, and we pick a great graphic novel to bring you and a great interview to bring you as well. We'd love it if you joined uh, the club and, and we hope that you can join us.